Hello. Recently, this Chinese missionary reached out to me. This woman called me and she preached to me about Jesus. After a long conversation, I asked her question, where is Jesus? And she said, Jesus already came back, he already returned. And uh, she said he manifested himself as a woman this time. They call this Jesus Almighty God. And what's scary about this is millions of people following this. They claim to have millions of members. In this video, I want to talk about cult a little bit. I'm not go it's not going to be called documentary. It's going to be... I'm going to try to answer a question. How can millions of people follow a woman, Jesus? Call her, calling herself Almighty God. This is absurd. Jesus said that there's going to be many who are going to come in, under His name. And they're going to deceive many. And we see it happening right now. There is many cults that... They say, oh, I'm Jesus, I'm Jesus. I had, I met him on a street. This guy, me and my wife was buying a pizza. And we came on a street and there's this guy, he come up with the open Bible and he says, he says, I am Jesus. And you know, this Bible is talking about me, all this prophecy about me. And, uh, and there's a lot of people, calls turning out. And many people are following. But how can they deceive? How, how are they doing this? How are they deceiving people? You think the Bible is clear on that if you hear Jesus is in a secret rooms or in a desert somewhere, don't follow him. How are they doing this? I would like to answer these questions. A lot of cult leaders lead their people who follow them to extremes. For example, Jonestown, if you heard of it, they went, they was going to build a utopia, but about almost, almost a thousand people were killed by this... Um, preacher when they were supposed to have communion or something he put cyanide in the drink and and they drank and they all died almost thousand people other people like the other calls like heaven's gate many people commit suicide to go to heaven many different cults are appearing right now for example Warren Jeff called he controlled his people his followers there's a Mormon cult which uh, leader is Warren Jeff and they went to extreme. All he, they obey his prophecy to liter, literacy. He he said once like you cannot have children toys. The whole every, all his followers they throw all the toys from kids away because he said so. In Jehovah Witness call, you can have uh, sex with your wife only once a month, and they obey this. And all sorts of you cannot celebrate Christmas because you're worshiping man. Well, they believe Jesus is a man. Uh, you cannot celebrate your birthday because you, they believe you're you worshiping yourself and you cannot worship man. But why would people follow these people to their death? Why would people give their life for these leaders, fake Jesus and stuff? For example, this Chinese cult that I was talking about in the beginning, they have a lot going on they say to deceive many it's a really religion to deceive christian people and uh, people who follow christ and they they really um have a doctrine they will not tell you that their woman is G that their jesus is woman they will not tell you this thing at first sight first what they will do to you is they will indoctrinate you so they have like all these scripture twisting scripture and uh to, to get you in, they have really beautiful videos of their preaching and all that and you get interested and you watch it and slowly they they kind of drag you in and first thing when you come into cult you get excited, you know, like wow this is the best thing ever, wow this is beautiful it's awesome and it's called the warm welcoming, they welcome you you think oh this is the best thing in my life and you're all excited about it, you're all pumped out about it and next what was happening is they start separation process they gotta separate you so with, with doing all this good work for Jesus now you're getting separated from separate from the world you don't really mind they say oh you know the world is wrong and now we do it right way so the often place they put themselves as a place of Jesus and uh, they put like leaders and pastors everybody who can help you the honest people they put them in a category of Pharisees. This is the first tactic they use to separate you. Those people are Pharisees. You know, we're doing the right thing. Those people are Pharisees. 
that's their tactic number one is number two first they welcome you and you feel like you're doing something you involved second tactic they start separating you and at this point you you came into call you feel good you have nice friends who's your trustful uh, really trustful friends in the call you feel good you need no nothing and uh, you are thinking wow this is great but slowly they, they move into step number three they start to control the information you received they start to control information you received everything else they try to separate oh you cannot watch whatever they say you cannot watch uh, you cannot listen to people who was in your call before and they left because you know they are bad people they are evil so now they control the information and you think okay whatever well, it's, it's okay you know it's, it, it must be good for me now the real thing starts now you're getting into it deeper you're getting more involved they sucking you in deeper now they're gonna start the process of making you a better person now it's like oh we're gonna make you a better person so um, they're gonna try to break you and how are they doing this in a lot of Christian cults they start doing this with confession oh you know you have sins you're you still a bad person you need to come become better you need to confess your sin and when you confess your sin it's really dangerous thing to confess your sin to a cult leader because they if you give them a little bit of space and now oh I did this sin and now I have to confess it and it will never get you free that they start to control a conscience and if they got your conscience it's like you becoming in their um, horse in their chariot like they put the ropes in your um, mouth and now they can control you if they got your conscience you're done that's why now they gonna demand absolute obedience it's one of the big points in the cults you gotta be absolutely obedient to them like oh if you don't you don't be you're a bad person and now you gotta be obedient everything they say they're gonna try to make you do if you don't do it they're gonna put guilt on your conscience oh you disobey it you're a bad person you're destroying the God's work or whatever the work they doing could be political could be whatever um, you're you're bad you're evil now you gotta confess again so you come and confess okay now I confess that I did something bad against this group against this this organization now you confess now they got your conscience now they can do whatever you want whatever they want with you and if you're gonna disobey them you're, you you're gonna have a guilt you're gonna your conscience is gonna be guilty so now you're tied by conscience every time you did something wrong you're gonna have to go okay forgive me so I can move on and doing this work and right by this time you cannot listen to anybody because everybody's Pharisee and they try to um, pull you into the world back into the world now you're in a righteous path so nobody can uh, talk to you besides them and then start indoctrination and you gotta be absolute obedient you disobey them your conscience is gonna judge you that's their trick next thing is fear you know your conscience is not clean you're gonna go to hell if your conscience is gonna be judging you so now you gotta go back to them fear and many different fears for example in the call of um, almighty god called woman almighty god fake they have this words i talked to them only a little bit i don't know much about this call but what they saying is if you if you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, you're doomed forever, you're, you're done. So that's their fear tactic. So now you really like, once they get, get you into this cult, now they put fear on you. Oh, I don't want to say nothing, I don't want to even think nothing against this almighty God woman. Because, you know, what if I gonna disagree with God's work? They, you know when Jesus says if somebody blasphemed the Holy Spirit, and that's the place they use. Now, if you disagree with the work of this woman, and she's really blasphemous herself, she like, oh, I'm God, I'm Almighty, I will kill everybody who disagree with me, like a bunch of all these 
uh, blasphemous words he's saying like in the revelation the beast said those words so oh if i say something against her now i blaspheme the holy spirit so you, you they get you this fear and other calls oh you're gonna go to hell if you disobey oh another they put shame like they're gonna shame you. if you do something against it they're gonna shame and now you're in this routine and it's it happens over years when they get you into this and that's becoming your worldview your reality they control you and you don't really realize as you're really deep into this and now you gotta follow all these rules to be good and you're you're just stuck now you don't listen to your friends your friends come to talk to you but you're they but they already go through all the steps another what they do another step they take is they make we are the only right everybody else who's trying to tell you something your friends your family um, they try to bring you to, to hell they try to de uh, deceive you they are devil they're deceiving you so you really don't listen to anybody you know somebody try to tell you something hey you know you're going right way but you will turn them away no you're a devil you're deceiving me so now in this position you're really in big problem one more thing trust they do all sorts of tricks so you would trust them it involves a lot of truth so cult leaders it's not it's not like cult leaders they are lying to you they cult leaders they have a lot of truth they feed you a lot of truth and sometimes this truth is better truth than you know and you you do something and they hey you know you did this wrong and then they bring their truth and say man I, I that is right my call leader is right. I did it wrong. My call leader showed me the right way. And many another time, you know, you do something wrong. They, oh, you know, you doing this wrong. This is the right way. And and that is absolutely you was wrong. Call leader was right. This is really important. They tell you the truth. Call leader tell you a lot of truth. And another time you do something wrong, and they're like, oh, I'm trying to help you here. This is the right way. And is honestly, that's the right way he show you the call leader. And this way they work out trust. Okay, you know, I'm wrong, my call leader is right. You know, many times I was wrong, he fixed me and it was right. And now you're becoming trust, you're becoming trusting this guy. You know, maybe he will prevent you from doing something wrong and be like, hey, and then he will be like, see, I was right. And he will point out, see, I was right. And now you're becoming, and now you trust him. And after you trust him, he start manipulate you with this trust, you know. He start giving you all these rules, these rules all to help you out, like, and you trust these rules, and you keep going, you trust it, you trust it, and you, and uh, you think, wow, he helped me out, and I trust him, and slowly by slowly, you're becoming trusting this guy instead of Jesus, but then he will tell you to do wrong things, and you continue trusting him, that's where the problem starts, now he tell you, you gotta drink Kool-Aid to, to be go to go to heaven and you're gonna kill yourself and drink Kool-Aid because you trust the leader that you're doing the best for yourself. Or you're gonna commit suicide to go to heaven or whatever you're gonna do. Donate millions of donate your life to this call or donate a lot of money because you're doing better for yourself and you trust and you're following this leader. You know the difference between church and cult? The Bible says thieves came to kill kill thieves come to kill steal and destroy and the the fruits of like bible says by their fruits you will know them the false teacher you will know them by the fruits for example i'm going to church i believe in jesus he's my personal savior i go to church my church helps my family like like i mean the teaching of the pastor of teaching of the church it helps my family to be stronger it helps me to be a better person, not to go into drugs, you know. But I'm free from the church. My church does not try to manipulate me. My church does not try to um, control me. My church doesn't do it. I'm free. If I decide to leave church, I can leave it for free. Like, I can just leave, go to other church, you know. I think my pastor will be happy if I leave because I, I cause a lot of trouble. But if you try to leave cult, it's gonna... The, they're gonna shunt you, they're gonna 
you will uh, be a bad person they will put guilt on your mind so fruits of church besides the salvation that Jesus saved you fruits of church it will improve your family it will help you out it will keep you um, spiritual fruits of call it will get you excited it will get you like man I'm doing something and you will be on fire but not for Jesus you will be on fire for call and the fruits you will be he come to steal kill and destroy at the end of call there's a kill you will be dead you will be destroyed you will be a big problem that's where cult's gonna lead you it's a really really difference big difference clear difference between going to church and going to cult in cult you will end up in depression and end up in problem end up in death end up everywhere in church people go to church all the time and uh, they are happy they are better off all right I gonna I'm gonna make a um, add the video and I'm gonna make a different video on cults I'm gonna post it on my YouTube channel this video I'm just making as a rough draft to get my ideas together for my future video so thank you so much if you want a more and a more better video and edit and together go to MUC free life it's gonna come up soon thank you so much and stay out of cults stay out of don't let any my anybody control your brain Jesus says he will set you free and he set me free he can set you free call will bind you you will be bonded there's a lot more points that are gonna probably include in other video and it's gonna be shorter it's gonna be nice and neat and uh, up to point so thank you so much if you're watching this comment so I know if somebody watched it it will make me feel better thank you maybe you will ask me how do you know all this information how do you know how the how it feels to be in a call and all that perhaps I'm not gonna answer that question it's too personal for public to know but I'll tell you the secret how to leave a cult number one thing we are supposed to do if you realize maybe I'm in a cult if you realize actually open your eyes a little bit number one thing it's a secret how to leave the cult start breaking their rules start breaking it and if you then what are gonna happen is a guilt if you break a rules your guilt gonna come oh I break a rule burn your conscience burn your conscience not burn your conscience based on Bible burn your conscience based on on the call whatever the call structure of conscious in your brain you gotta burn that you gotta realize Bible says different and the one you the way you burn your conscience is this like okay I'm free I broke the rules this is not God rules I broke the man rules Bible permits it and I did the right thing by breaking these rules when you say I did the right thing by breaking these rules I did the biblical thing by breaking these rules that's where your conscience is gonna leave and this is a big turning point in your life this is when you're gonna start opening your eyes after you broke the rules leave the call leave it and just stay out of it stay as far away as you can and get as more information from people who used to be in different cults who used to go to the same experience and that will help you out to realize the, tr the true way of living talk to other people who, who can actually speak against your call and you you judge what they say you you get involved with other people get involved with the church with nice church the healthy church they will say like they will help you out to be they, they're gonna be real friends because when you leave the cults all those cults friends now they're all your enemies they are not your friends they are the same thing controlled and now you're evil to them so those in the it, look if you're in a cult look around look at your friends they are not your friends they are your enemies the only holds you together is this crazy in, indoctrination but your real friends is people who even if you're gonna do bad to them they're still gonna be your friend even if you leave the church or something they're gonna be your friend they will try to help you out with clear motives so break the rules break the cult rules is number one and then break burn your conscience based on Bible you burn the conscience you say okay God I am breaking man rule, man rule I am breaking rules that man made and this is the right thing because those rules lead to destruction and that will calm your conscience down you say I did the right thing by breaking these rules and this will calm your conscience down 
of course I'm not saying to break if I'm not saying if you sin your con yeah your conscience is based on word of God is good conscience if it's based on their word break their conscience okay thank you so much God bless you all this is this is my a little video I love you all